Let me introduce Ulises, he's going to speak more than me. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having us. Um, the, thanks to the host for, for taking the time to let us speak a few minutes. I just flew in last night from Houston. I live in Texas, and uh, uh, I'm going right back at noon. Uh, Oscar booked me a quick in and out turnaround. And he said, dress up, because there's a lot of important people there. <laughs> so uh, thanks, Oscar. Thanks for the thanks for the setup. <laughs> Feel a little overdressed, o other than my brother. But uh, anyhow, my name is Ulysses. I play Paul in this uh, series, and uh, I, I enjoy the, the 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 conversation we had with God a minute ago, and the, the prayer about uh, uh, you know in our country, and because I, I remember when Abraham had his meeting with the Lord, and you know in front of Sodom and Gomorrah, and he asked. You know, if, if, if there's 10 people, you know, if you can find five, if you can find one, you know, would you not destroy? So I think there's plenty of folks here that God would spare us for. Uh, but, uh, yeah, these are these are interesting times for sure. Um, I'm I have the the the, the daunting task of playing Paul. Uh, and I was cast via Zoom. So um, uh, I don't think Oscar realized I was 6'2", and Paul was very short. Uh, but I guess I have the right look, uh, especially after Paul shaves his head for the, uh, his messianic bow that he does at, uh, during his second journey. And he shaves his head, so I got that taken care of. Thank you. But, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor, a privilege to play one of the, uh, the giants of our faith, right? Uh, half of the New Testament written by Paul, uh, inspired by, uh, by God and uh, the messages that we have today. I mean, I was just looking at, you know, Galatians. And I mean, every, every time I turn around, somebody's quoting somebody that Paul said. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's no pressure, no pressure to play Paul, right? Uh, because everybody has an idea of, of, of everybody has their own Paul. And it's and everybody thinks that that's his their favorite aside from 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 Jesus and uh, so I'm very excited. Uh, we have we have planned eight or nine episodes. We have a huge task in front of us. We have a pilot, uh, a 24 minute pilot that we shot back in February in the same studios where the chosen started uh, in Texas in Capernaum Studios in Weatherford, Texas. And um, we have a pilot now that has been shown at several premieres. And we've, we've gotten really good feedback from everybody that has seen it. So we're encouraged by that. Uh, but we have, we have to move forward for the next uh, episodes. We, we want to shoot um, episodes two and three sometime this fall. Uh, uh, Oscar uh, wanted to start uh, the, the, the story uh, with Paul being run out of Thessalonica and Berea. So we've already filmed that. Uh, very interesting uh, week that we had in, in, in Weatherford filming the, the, uh, the getting run out by the mob, uh, the crazy mob in Berea. Uh, I have stories about that behind the scenes if you want to hear about that afterwards. But um, uh, Paul will continue on to, uh, to Athens in the next episode and then eventually to Corinth to the uh, to the Vegas of the time uh, with all the sin and alcohol that that Corinth had but uh, yeah I, I'm already preparing for the big speech at Mars Hill with all the uh, philosophers and idolaters men of Athens I see that in every way you are very religious as I walked around your city and I observed your objects of worship I noticed one altar that said to an unknown God. So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship. And this is what I want to proclaim to you. The God that made the earth and everything in it does not live in temples made by human hands. And he's not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives life and breath to everything and everyone. From one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he has already set their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lives. He did this. God did this 
so that man should seek him and perhaps find him. Anyways, um, I, I, I can't give you too much. The speech goes on and I'm still working on it, but uh, that's, that's part of episode two. Um, anyhow, I don't know if you all have any questions about our show. I don't want to take up too much time because I know we have a... So I, I'm, I'm a Cuban-born U.S. citizen right? uh, in a country where uh, communism does not allow religion. Uh, my family was, uh, we were Baptists, uh, probably the, the few Cuban, the only Cuban Baptists you know, because most, most Cubans are Catholic. <laughs> but uh, nothing wrong with that, it's just that we were the minority in the island. And uh, so I grew up in a Christian home. Uh, but I really didn't understand my relationship with Christ till, till I was 36. I'm 60 now. Um, and I was in South Florida working and uh, I met a pastor that uh, spoke to me and we, we got to know each other, played basketball together. And uh, one day he, we sat down while we were drinking Gatorade and he said, so, hey man, you die tomorrow. You, you know where you're going? And I hesitated. And then I said, yeah. And he goes, yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, because you hesitated, I know you don't, you're not saved. Let's talk about that. And it took me through 45 minutes in tears, realizing that I had wasted my whole young years, not understanding what that was like and that was about. And uh, came to the Lord when I was 36 in uh, 1996. Um, and, um, you know, that, that moment is, is instantaneous, right? But the transformation and the, the sanctification takes your whole lifetime. So, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. One thing that, that this has done, uh, playing Paul, has, because it's probably the, the, the toughest role I've ever, I've ever played. Because I've done acting, uh, besides what I do for a living, I've done acting on the side for many years. But studying Paul as deep as I've gone, reading about all the, his, not just his epistles, but the historians, everything they've written about Paul. And there's so many resources out there on Paul. It's crazy. Uh, that has really changed my perspective on many things, especially with our country today and our tolerance and our compromising and our accepting of things that are not of God. And how Paul was relentless and fearless and not willing to give in or compromise to anything. So I continue to grow. I continue to change in my Christian walk. And now even more so, you know, playing this role. It's really, it's really has impacted me. I, I played a, a, a soldier that had put, in a Christian film about five years ago, a soldier that came back from Afghanistan with post-traumatic stress. Uh, army, sorry. And uh, that changed our lives because I enter into a world of post-traumatic stress with all these veterans that I had no idea had existed, just like most of us don't realize what these guys go through. So that changed me. And then now this is changing me and my family uh, and the studying the word more and diving in deeper. So that's in a nutshell. I mean, there's a lot more, but uh, anyhow. Any other questions? Yeah, um, we have, we have uh, the, the brochure that you see there has a lot of information about the project and uh, our budgets. Obviously, we don't have Hollywood budgets. So we're, we're traveling around the country uh, uh, trying to raise money. We're in fundraising season right now before we hopefully get going in, in uh, October to film the next two episodes and then we'll take it one, one, one filming at a time. Yes, sir. Where, where is it? What is the plan for people to see the pilot or what is the plan for if we, is it going to be paid for view? Is it going to be on Netflix? Is it going to be theaters? Yes. How is this going to be delivered? So, uh, and, and I used to not be able to answer that because it was a question about my pay grade, but I've, I've traveled with Oscar so many times that I, I, know, I know the answer now. 
because uh, he is the, the executive producer. Uh, but uh, Mr. Sidden, we, um, uh, we have, I'm sorry, HUD, I'm sorry. Uh, we have uh, a, um, uh, we have plans to have an app, have an app. To, uh, everybody familiar with The Chosen? Okay, so they've they've trailblazed in a lot of ways how 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 to get this out there to people, and they've done a great job, and people are loving it, and we you know we we need to just kind of take that formula and use it because it worked for them, um, and we're going to start with an app, uh, and I know there's been uh, other. Uh, studios that have approached Oscar, like God TV and uh, uh, Faith Star, Pure Flix. There's there's several that have approached us, but they want to see more episodes. They want to see more production, and you know, make sure it's quality. Which you know, if we had time, you know, we would have shown you a trailer. So you, because I, all, all we get uh, as far as feedback when we show the the uh, the pilot is that people are very impressed with the quality of production and 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 how we're sticking to the biblical principles and it's a, it's a really good story. Uh, there's plenty of there on Paul in the in 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 the New Testament. Uh, I think Oscar has a pretty easy job writing the script. Uh, no, I'm kidding, Oscar. I'm sure. <laughs> But uh, we'll start with an app, and then uh, I don't think it's, it'll be theaters. It'll be mostly episodic and streaming. Uh, that's, that's, that, that'll be our main vehicle to get this out there. Um, and um, I don't know if I answer your question. Oscar, you have anything to add to that? Basically, uh, I need mean, free for everybody. Uh, I want to uh, clarify something. We got to create something. Uh, I like how the chosen did, he chose. But uh, Paul, uh, uh, I had a I am proud to be that of the seminary and doing the PhD and there one of it. Uh, but um, we want to show this Paul how the Bible is speaking to us. We don't want to create a story around Paul. We want to show this Paul like, like you, like a pastor, like you. It's a human that, that is suffering for the gospel. Yes. Uh, this Paul that, that, that cried because the people they don't want to hear. When I show this Paul, how he say, uh, right now we are showing the, the good Paul right now. But also when I show this Paul that was bad, mm -hmm. when I show this Paul when he was confronted with Jesus, how he changed the life, how Paul is trying to preach the gospel. So we're going to choose the Bible, not create story uh, uh, around. So basically we're going to be free for everybody, for, uh, you can use for uh, 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 evangelize, God, when I create this one, I, I feel in my heart that God said, say that we need to be free for the people. So Paul basically is to move the church to get out for your seed in the church. Amen. Because we have, we have Priscilla's in our church. We have Quilas in our church. We have Paulos in our church. And sometimes they are sitting there and they don't know uh, what to do. But if you see in the Bible, all these kind of people that help Paul to spread the word uh, uh, around. So we need to move these people. Yes. So this is the idea for this new TV series. People watch TV now on their phones. Yeah. People watch films on their phones. This is a different generation now. People don't sit in front of the TVs. Older people do. Younger people watch films on their phones. And, and, the, and the, the media is very powerful, right? But it's being used for all the wrong things. I mean, and we're being attacked. It's in our face. And if, if, if we don't respond with the goodness in the media, like they're attacking us with their stuff. I mean, look at the, the Grammys or the Super Bowl halftime show or, or any of that. So, you know, what we want to do is we want to counterattack and use that vehicle, the same vehicle they're using to, to spread the good news instead. Because uh, our children are watching it, you know, Disney's going after our kids. I mean, we, we could go, we could talk for hours about what's happening with media, but, but you know, we want Paul to be, to be a, a better message than what is being sent out there right now on TV and on streaming and all of that. Um, I work with a TV series currently right now, another ministry in Houston that, you know, we're dealing with teen suicide. How many shows are out there right now that are encouraging kids to take their lives? It's out there. It's, it's blatant, and they're watching it, and they're believing that that is an option. 13 Reasons Why was one of the shows that, uh, 
that uh, was number one on Netflix for many, many, many months in a row. 13 Reasons Why, and the rest of the title is You Should Take Your Life. And, you know, we're producing a show called Breaking Strongholds, another ministry, um, to show a million reasons why you shouldn't, and it's all faith-based. So we have to use media to, to counterattack because uh, they're, they're being very uh, open and in our face about it. Uh, so that's, that's the purpose of us. I think, uh, yeah, we haven't cast Luke or uh, 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 Apollo or, uh, you know, there's so many characters still to be cast. I work with Silas and Timothy already. We had a really good time in the pilot, but there's so much more. And I can't wait to play Saul and go back in a flashback and play that guy, right? Uh, who believed that he was doing everything he did in the name of God. He was convinced that he was doing the right thing by torturing and murdering and persecuting this people of the way. He did. So he, he, he was shocked when the Lord said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting? You know, and went into that house for three days blind and then went into the desert for two years to be reprogrammed with God. It took him a while to figure, to, to learn everything that he did when he came back to Jerusalem. And started his journey. So um, it's so exciting to play somebody like Paul. Uh, and and, and I, I think people want to see the transformation. So we're going to go back and show that and the, the road to Damascus and all of that. Yes, sir. We have, we already have, uh, so his, his ministry has a website, which is on the program. And if you go there, you can start uh, uh, signing up for, to, to follow up on what's going on. We're going to have a website with the name of the, uh, the TV series as well. Um, I believe it's paulthelastapostle.tv, and that will have a lot of information as well as to when things are being released. We have a Facebook page. We have an Instagram page. We're on social media. So if you want to track what's happening with the show, that's the best way to do that. John Matthew, come up here. I want you to pray for this project. Pray for this whole team and then uh, pray for Antoine. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. No, bless you and thank you for having us. We really appreciate the time. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Lord, it is so wonderful that brothers can get together this morning, early in the morning, oh God, to worship you, to praise you. Ah, but this project, Paul, that you have put in the hearts of these men, oh God, I pray that it would become a great evangelistic tool to be used for reaching your kingdom, for spreading your good news, oh God, just like Paul who had a heart for evangelism, this would become a tool to reach a dying world around us, oh God, to share the good news, the light of the gospel to them, oh God. I pray for your blessings upon each of the people involved in this program, oh God, especially for the actor as the character as he plays Paul that you would truly represent who Paul is, not just from a historical perspective alone, but like it was said from the divine pages of sacred scripture. Abba, bless them with this project, O oh God. Lord, we humble ourselves in front of you this morning, O oh God, as our young man, Antoine, brings forth the message. Speak to us, O oh God. Lord, I pray for his desire also to serve you in, in the government, that you would use him, O oh God, if this is your will, O oh God, that you would use him in the place of God, so that we could have a rightful man, a righteous man in our government, oh God. Mm -hmm. I bless your holy name. Thank you so much for all that you're doing with us. We humble ourselves in front of you, oh God. Speak to us. Your reckless ear listens. Circumcise our hearts and our ears this morning to receive your word gladly and to be obedient to your word. We love you. We praise you. In the matchless name of Messiah, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for having us.